Uh, what's the level on these? I mean, these are all just level one, but I don't think I... You know what? What can I make? Whoa. Ah, shoot. Just cancelled the railway entirely. Let's do that. Level one. That'll do. And this hub is going to take a while. They do cost... 20,000 production, which is almost three military factories worth. They are not cheap. Socialist Republic of Italy has capitulated. So that's one of the uh, three I majors gone. The Kaiser i Hind, the ruling Nizam of the princely India, Osman Ali Khan, today proclaimed himself the true successor in the man mantle of the Kaiser i Hind, a title previously borne only by Mughal and British emperors of the subcontinent. The proclamation clearly indicates the Nizam considers the claims of others to Indian rule as little more than fiction and raises the spectre of renewed war between the Indian Empire and the surrounding states. Meanwhile, I think that we are now in a position where we can start to push out again. And let's have the tanks back down here. Huzzah! Now that we're getting a little bit more supply support, especially now that that's actually upgraded and built. All right, glorious. And the offensives can begin again. New research. Um, oh, no. oh, it is 45, so we can now get the tip-top logistics. Yeah, that works. Black Wolf, coming in with a 20-month resubscription. Thank you very much for that, Black Wolf. 20 months is an incredibly long time. Thanks for the continued amazing content. You're more than welcome. It's always a pleasure to be doing it. There we go. Now the attacks are going a lot more nicely. Let's make the militia responsible for a little bit more of the front line. So that we can maintain the pressure down here in the south. Russia is getting closer and closer to capitulation. Now, does the Kaiser E. Hind have any people out? German Empire has volunteers from the Indian Empire. So India is helping us. We don't know what focus they're doing, but they just did Kaiser E. Hind, which is this. So it looks like they are going to align with Germany. Oh no, they... No, they can still align with any of them. And it probably is going to be the next focus. Alright, time for the tanks to get involved. And speaking of getting involved, we need your infrastructure in Angola to go up. Oh, is there a supply up down here? Yes, that one. You take that, go. There, there. You take that, go. I will need to connect it to the railway, but this does mean that I don't need you anymore, which is fine because those things are bloody expensive. Just finish off that infrastructure and we'll be good. Then I just need to hold this. That's a whole other matter. Okay, now I need to connect that railway. 
have that as a matter of priority. If we take the port, even better. In fact, go take the port. Oh, they are. They're desperately trying to ship new units in. Oh, I see. I wasn't actually um, convoy raiding here. I didn't realize this port was in the southern area. I think, I think, I think. Oh, no, they got some, some more units in. Oh, dear. Let's send in all of the reinforcements. Do it? Why'd you stop? No! Crap. Uh, yeah, they're bringing in a lot of extra shipping. We need you to guard that. And, haha! -ha! Submarines! Ritz Kraus! Our bold submariner. Convoy raiding. These two. Go. And you have really good surface detection. I mean, it's not actually the end of the world if I don't take this. As long as we hold on to this province and get the railway built. And the railway is being built really rapidly, so we should do. More submachines. Are they yellow by any chance? We only on a Middle African submarine. Oh, yeah, this is exactly where all of their convoys were going. Oh, you sneaky sods. I was wondering why I was catching so few coming through here. is pretty much done. Just waiting for the little bit of construction here. Clicks on and off constantly, but so it goes. And Eastern Angola's infrastructure is also improving. Need to keep an eye on the fuel. Can't believe that they had this port open this whole time. Because they clearly had this flagged as do not enter, and they were just shipping everything into here. Bah, humbug! Oh yes, that's a very good point. I did want to upgrade the submarine template. Thank you. Once I had the points, which I now do. That's in here, that's in here. And then... The Frogger Pirate needs to have more torpedoes. The Mark II. Yes, I will say that I want these to be upgraded to the Mark IIs, if you would be so kind. Actually, do I? Nah, there's only two of them. It's fine. Build me one more of those, and then switch to the Mark IIs. Man, we have a lot of ship templates. Cool. Oh dear, that's not looking good. Hold on to that position in particular. And there we go, the railway's done. So this should now be, yes, fully supplied. Get in! We do need oil. And Brazil is dead, so they're not exporting any. That's the problem. 
I'm going to continue buying from Japan. Spend a little while, dig in, secure what we've got, and then we'll start another attack. Let them replenish here a little bit as well, but I think that's fine. guys are doing a lot of repairs. In fact, those two battleships are full health. Let's send you back. I don't like that it sends the subfleets to repair, it should always just be individual. Oh, destroyer just died, battleship's about to die. Yeah. Caught out by these guys and torpedoed. Oh no, he escaped. Go and repair. Go and just sit in port for a little while. You guys are getting absolutely obliterated at the moment. I do need to be a little bit careful because it's kind of hard to replace. Meanwhile, we have got some more factories. What do we need? Um, light tanks. My ships, that's you guys. Yeah, it's the American Navy that we've been facing off against. Can we see how many ships they still <laughs> have? Quite a few. And I think I need to set you guys to protect trade through here as well. Less so through there now. Persia took two states. Afghanistan was annexed. Okie dokie. Right. Go and repair. Okay, now I think we're set again. We seem to be repairing pretty quickly. Using up all of our shipyards in the process, of course, but... Needs must. Then the next thing I want to do is damage control. Reduce the number of crits against my battleships. Okay, then I think that you guys are pretty much ready for another crack at this, so go for it. Even beating the medium tanks, mostly because of supply issues, but hey, I'll take it. And if we take this, then all of the supply down here is gone.
Nice little cut off there. Keep on attacking, crush the cutoffs. And yes, we've now taken that port. So no supply down there for them. We get loads of supply. And now the Angola offensive can basically take on a fresh level of damage, which would be great. And yes, we do need to garrison the ports, you're not wrong. Um, which I would really like to start using the militia units for. Oh, hey, Ethiopia. That's rather fortuitous that you're sending me some units. Did I get them? No. Because the other thing I also want to do is start training some of these marines for the attack in the north. We'll get, say, 12 of you going. Now we're really short on light tanks. And yes, we are definitely getting closer to Angola's capital for sure. Bo show. Meanwhile, this is a rather nice pocket that we've managed to isolate here. Unfortunately, we're fighting them in a mountain province, which is a bit of a pain. Flamethrowers don't do you much good there. Experience is experience, and if we get some mountaineer as well, then that's good. Yeah, ha ha! Level six, we can finally get you infantry expert. And now you do that extra ten percent division infantry division attack, which we have needed for some time. And also level five supply, which is good. Indian Empire joined Copro. That's unfortunate, but we're not at war with Copro, so that's fine. Oh, hey, India. Have guns? Actually, I may not need them. I do, but not badly. And there we go. This. Oh, there was a port here. Damn. Let's have you guys return to active duty elsewhere. Leave the tanks to take this out. And there it is. Okay, I really do need to start removing some garrison units. Um, ooh, we're across the Alps. Nice. Oh wow, Russia. Still alive, though, somehow. Germany's lost 8 million. Germany is approaching danger zone. And now, I will buy some more steel. That's it, we're out of factories. All of these factories we're getting from trade. We cannot buy anything else. Logistics company, nice. Let's go and get some more engineering. Now, are you guys back up to full strength? You are, so you may as well go back to convoy raiding. Enjoy.
And we're not too far away from getting Huzzah! blue water expert. How's the submarine doing? Oh, you know what else I haven't done? I have not assigned you the proper symbols. So you're the high seas fleet. You're the escort fleet, which is the that, usually in green. And then you are the submarines, usually in red. Okay. How are you doing for experience? You are getting a lot of experience. An awful lot. Sweet. Okay, cool. And it kind of looks like the last of the Frogger Pirate Mark 1s is done. They are indeed. Have we started working on the dockyard yet? No. Admit to setting your subfleet to be yellow. Interesting. Submarines are red. They're attacking units, just like tanks, which are also red. Alpha, thank you very much for the follow. Dark Synth, thank you for the follow. And Danny, thank you. And Poet, gifted a sub to Kalinas. Thank you very much for that, Poet. Yellow submarines. Fair enough. Fair enough. this point just researching things for the sake of researching them oh, I need more steel because Germany is not exporting everything that they're promising uh, Austria apparently you don't oh actually with Germany I don't need a convoy either Oh, we are slowly but surely taking all of this back. And yeah, we are catching more and more ships now. In fact, this is probably good because the detection capabilities of the submarines is going to be calling in the battleships. If the subs don't kill them already before they even get there, which they probably do. You have leveled up. You can get Concealment Expert, which I would like you to get. You can also get Smokescreen Expert, which I would also like you to get. And you're not going to be far off getting Seawolf. At that point, we can get Silent Hunter and then Loading Drill Master. And now the blockades can begin. Nineteen kills. Silly Americans thinking they can get around the Cape. No, sir. You cannot. Yellow subs kill convoys, red ships hunt warships. Interesting. Personally, high seas is blue, purple, convoy escorts are green, subs are red. Also picky about icons. Yep. Icons are important. The ship's helm is convoys. The sailing boat is the high seas fleet. And then the submarine is submarines. What other icons do I use? Oh yeah, um, naval support is the explosion. Uh, Anti-submarine hunters, anti-submarine warfare is those, uh, is the skull and crossbones. Those are the only ones I really use. They are taking South America, I know. Not a huge amount I can do about that right now. As long as I keep them off my borders, it's fine. Off my coast. And once Angola has fallen, then we can start assigning the greens to this line, and then we can make the militia be the actual coastal guard. I'm being a little bit... I'm taking a little bit of a risk here. I'm aware of this. By not having ports guarded right now. Okay, what do we need? Anti-air has finally caught up. We have enough light tanks. We just need lots and lots more light tanks. Let's go up to five. Fantastic.
The fall of Rio de Janeiro. The battle for Rio de Janeiro seems to have ended after days of gruesome assault by American forces. Despite the city's defensible position, the Brazilian government could not prevent the Catete uh, Palace and most of the city proper from falling into American hands. Fighting lingers in the hills, but most Brazilian forces have been driven out. The Brazilian situation does seem rather dire. So how's the supply problem now? Is no problem. And there it is, Brazil has now capitulated. Homing torpedo. Our torpedo shooting just got better. And that is actually all of the submarine upgrades. Let's get fire control to make my battleships a bit stronger. Although they are very old. Oh, France! Heck yeah. In that case, I wonder if putting a little pressure up here might be something to do. It is. It rules are all the way back there now. This war has turned around, yes, pretty aggressively so. We still have infantry shortages, you know what I have? I have a lot of artillery. I was going to add artillery to my... Uh, oh no, it is these guys. 